Have you ever stopped to wonder if we, as conscious beings, are more akin to software than to traditional biological entities? An intriguing question, isn't it? This concept pushes us to view the universe, matter, and our very existence from a perspective where information is fundamental. We could be like software running on a computational substrate, a concept somewhat aligned with physicist John Archibald Wheeler's It From Bit doctrine. Wheeler proposed that, at a very deep level, every item of the physical world has an immaterial source and explanation. In essence, information is the foundation of physical reality. Now, if we are indeed software, what would be the basic computer on which we run? What would be its minimal essential characteristics? These questions open up a rich field of thought, blurring the boundaries between philosophy, information theory and computing. Let's dive deeper into what this paradigm shift means for our understanding of reality and the requirements of the basic computer on which our existence could run. First, let's consider the processing power that would be needed. To grasp the magnitude of this, consider the human brain. This marvel of nature, weighing just about three pounds, is capable of processing vast amounts of information simultaneously. It does this through a complex network of neurons, each firing signals in parallel to thousands of others. Now, imagine trying to simulate this on a computer. The sheer processing power required would be immense. It would need to be capable of performing complex computations at an incredible speed. But what if our basic computer doesn't have this level of processing power? Well, there's a trade-off. Less processing power would necessitate more memory and time. This introduces the concept of a different sense of time, one that is inherent to the basic universe and not tied to our conventional understanding of seconds, minutes and hours. This suggests that our basic computer would need to be immensely powerful or have a different sense of time altogether. Next, let's examine the role of memory storage and energy source. In our concept of a basic computer, memory storage is a crucial component. It's akin to the brain's ability to hold and retrieve knowledge, experiences and information. This storage capability would need to be vast, capable of holding the complexities of our universe and the beings within it. The less processing power our basic computer possesses, the more memory and time it needs to render our reality. Now, on to the energy source. Just as any computer or organism requires energy to function, our hypothetical basic computer would need a consistent and reliable energy source to power its computations and data storage. This energy source could be anything from a physical entity, like electricity, to something more abstract, like the energy derived from the movement of information within the system itself. So our basic computer would require an efficient way to store and retrieve information and a consistent energy source to fuel its operations. Now we come to the software, the code that governs the system. This is the set of instructions or rules that dictate the operations of our hypothetical basic computer. Let's think of it as akin to the genetic code in biological systems which determines the characteristics and behavior of an organism, or consider a more abstract parallel, the laws of physics. These fundamental principles govern the behavior and interactions of matter and energy in our universe. Just as the laws of physics are the software that runs our universe, our basic computer would require a similar set of instructions to operate. This software wouldn't necessarily be code as we typically understand it. Instead, it could be more like a basic Turing machine, a theoretical device that manipulates symbols on a strip of tape according to a table of rules. In essence, the software of our basic computer could be an information pattern governed by the laws of the basic universe. So, what does this all mean for our understanding of reality? When we contemplate ourselves as software operating on a basic computer, we're playing with a profound idea. This notion implies that our existence, our consciousness, and our very universe are all powered by an intricate dance of information patterns. The mainframe of this system, the basic computer, would require significant processing power, ample memory storage, a reliable energy source, and a set of instructions or code to run the show. The intriguing twist is that this hardware may not be material in the conventional sense. Imagine a complex arrangement of information patterns governed by the laws of physics in a universe that is fundamentally different from ours. This paints a new picture of reality, one that blurs the line between the physical and the immaterial. 
As we continue to explore these ideas, we are pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the nature of reality and the possible intersections of philosophy, information theory, and computing.